easy man. David. You, you brought me back to life in so many ways. I can't tell you how much that means. How much you mean to me. I'm sorry we waited so long to make our marriage real. I just wanted it to be right. It is right. You make me happy, David. Really happy. It's been a long time since I felt so good. I'm happy, too. I know it wasn't easy putting yourself out there. And I don't want you to feel like it was a mistake and that I don't care. Because I want to give you my heart. And I will. I just... I just need time. Uh, I didn't say I love you to get you to say it back. I just wanted you to know how I feel. Now you're not there. I understand that. That doesn't change anything for me. You're the one who warned me not to say certain things unless I felt the same. together. Our marriage is real. That's what's important. Should you be celebrating with your wife? Don't tell me. Problems in paradise already. Wow. I save you from a prison cell, and this is a thanks I get. I get the cold shoulder. You had your own reasons. That plus a rather sizable paycheck. Well, I would have gotten that anyway. But I pulled off the impossible in that courtroom. Of course, I couldn't have done it without Greenlee. She took a really big risk on that stand. I, she could have ended up in a prison cell right next to you. Which is why I'm surprised she's not sitting here with All you. Right. Liza, let it go. I mean, Greenlee was willing to do whatever it took to make sure that you went free. Well, I mean, I guess that's to be expected. You did save her life. She owes you. Greenlee doesn't owe me a damn thing. Is that the problem? Hmm? She's, you guys are even, and now she's free to go back to Ryan? Greenlee hates Ryan now. Huh? She wouldn't take him back even if he crawled back to her. OK, so what, what, what's the problem? Hmm. You know, during that trial, you, uh, you were more concerned about protecting Greenlee than you were yourself. You were even willing to go to prison to make sure that she didn't testify. You obviously really love her. Judging by the look on your face, she doesn't love you back? Am I warm? Wow. With Amanda, you were willing to pull out all the stops to control her. Faked a disease, you emotionally blackmailed her. But with Greenlee, you're not forcing it. Just sitting here alone, drowning your sorrows. Well, you must really have it bad. That feels like when you want someone and they don't want you. Anymore, at least. It's uh, absolutely humiliating. And worse than that, it hurts like hell. So, you drink. You drown the pain. When that doesn't work? You get angry and you want to hurt him back? I would never do anything to hurt Greenlee. 
That's good, because I don't have any more room in my schedule to defend you. You know, it's so ironic. Everybody thinks I'm this monster. This heartless bastard that manipulates women. Drives them to do desperate things. What about Ryan? Hmm? I mean, look at all the things he's done to the women in his life. I mean, Annie, she went crazy, right? Kendall, she leaves the country. Greenlee winds up locked up in some castle tower somewhere because he's convinced he can get her to love him again. I mean, how is that any different from me? It isn't. So why does everyone think that he's the better man? I thought you said that Greenlee hates Ryan. She does. But that doesn't mean he's gonna stop keeping her on the hook. He can go around telling everyone he's done with Greenlee, but that's a bunch of garbage. Trust me, he's not through with her until he gets my wife.